Hello guys, Zander here and welcome back to a new video. So this is the Lino Yoga 9 i about which we are going to talk in this particular video. Without wasting any time, let's get started because there are so many things to talk about. And let's start with the specifications. As the laptop is based on Intel's Evo platform, it comes with 11th generation Intel Core i7 1185G7 processor, which has four cores, eight threads, a base clock of three gigahertz, it can go up to 4.8 GHz with Turbo Boost as well. It comes with integrated Intel's Iris Xe graphics. It has 14-inch 4K screen which can go up to 500 nits and has support for HDR400. 65 watt fast charger is provided inside the box itself and it uses USB Type-C port. Now, the laptop only weighs at about 1.4 kgs and also comes with 60 watt hour battery which should give you more than enough battery life. As laptop comes with Intel's Evo platform, Wi-Fi 6 is also present here. The laptop also comes with 16 GB of RAM, 1 TB of SSD, a webcam which is built into the laptop and it can be uh, controlled or opened or closed with a physical switch if you are a privacy concerned person that's very important and this is the webcam quality of the Lenovo Yoga 9i uh, definitely not the best that I've used uh, probably not even my top three or top five the physical switch which is used to control the camera privacy mode is little bit difficult to get to I mean it to turn it on and off it's a task and you have to be very precise in order to uh, make it on or off that that may be a good thing so that you will you won't accidentally turn it on or turn it off now the laptop comes with an interesting touchpad and interesting fingerprint sensor because this touchpad is almost like a unibody uh, part at the bottom part i mean if you have used macbooks in the past you know that macbooks do not actually go down i mean when you right click or left click the same mechanism is used here. When you try to left click or right click, there is a vibration motor which vibrates to make you feel as if, yeah, you pressed the button, but it did not really go in. You just used a lot of force because of which you felt that the laptop went in and the vibration motor rotated at the same time. This is an interesting function to have. If you have used MacBooks and you are planning to shift to Windows laptops, then this may be useful to you. But the functionality of this is, uh, I, I can't really say that it is, uh, it doesn't work because it works, definitely it works uh, almost 95% of the times. I usually do not press, like hard press. I just do touch, like touch for right click. I do use two fingers to right click. But if you are someone who presses buttons a lot, then this laptop will take a little bit of time to get used to. When it comes to the display panel, it is a 4K panel that I have over here. This is probably the highest end variant that you can get inside the market. The i7 variant will start from 150,000 rupees and uh, everything is like above that 170, 180, 192 lakhs, it can go up to that. So this is a 4K screen. The screen looks gorgeous, amazing screen quality. The screen, I mean, obviously it's IPS panel, LCD and all that stuff. It supports Dolby Vision out of the box. Dolby Vision is something, if you watch movies which support Dolby Vision, then the sound experience and the display quality will be really good. And Dolby Vision out of the box means that Obviously, the display quality was amazing. I was expecting that. But watching Netflix content with Dolby Vision was on next level. By the way, let me tell you one small thing just in case if you did not know. Chrome browser cannot play Netflix at 1080p resolution by default on these laptops. You have to use Microsoft Edge. But Microsoft Edge does not support Dolby Vision or did not show me Dolby Vision supported title as such. So I had to install the Netflix application in order to get Dolby Vision working. So if you're planning to buy this laptop, make sure to install Netflix application, like separate Netflix application from the Microsoft store. Then you will get the Dolby Vision uh, support. And whenever you play a Dolby Vision supported video, it will show this Dolby Vision logo, which will notify you that yes, you are playing an actual Dolby Vision content and the laptop is also displaying it in the Dolby vision format so definitely the display gets a huge plus point from my side when it comes to viewing angles when it comes to brightness and when it comes to Dolby Vision content that I played on the laptop. But it definitely does not get a thumbs up from my side for being a glossy panel. So if I point it like this, the light which is present over here, you can see that the light is completely overshadowing whatever is on the laptop. So that's why I am personally a huge fan of matte display panels. This is a glossy panel which I am not really a huge fan of but the display quality was so good and the touchscreen was so good that it was difficult. The top part of the laptop is made of leather. It feels so nice to hold. I mean the top this is definitely the best top panel in any laptop that I have used 
but then it misses out on the best build quality part because this is made out of leather but the entire rest of the laptop the display is glossy this one attracts fingerprint sensor very easily <laughs> i would have given it the tag of best built laptop or best build quality or best materials used but just because of this glossy glossy panel and this bottom part attracting fingerprint sensor i'm not going to give that but it feels good to hold in hand it feels like a premium laptop obviously it feels like a premium laptop to hold and when i hold the laptop like this i can hear the fans now when it comes to the heating issue the laptop does become warm when you use chrome or edge browser or excel these all are the normal tasks basically and i'm saying that yeah it does become warm and you can notice that and you can also hear the fans turning up if you use the laptop on battery saver mode then maybe the heating issue will go down just a little bit but if you are planning to use it on high performance mode then expect the laptop to become warm and fans to turn up even when you are using regular or normal applications. I earlier talked about the Intel's Evo platform. There are a lot of advantages to it. First of all, the USB type C ports are Thunderbolt ports and you do not get a proprietary uh, port for this laptop for charging. You get a USB type C port, meaning that's always a plus point. You can buy a charger or you can use a 65 watt charger if you have it already in your house to charge this laptop as well. By the way, the laptop has power button on the right side. Once again, that is also flushed inside the laptop, but it can be pressed um, luckily and it ha also has a light on the left side you will find a type a port and then two thunderbolt usb type c ports and one headphone jack that's it for the port situation <laughs> next up we are going to talk about the speaker quality and this is where i was like oh my god this could have been such a great laptop i said the same thing about the hp specter 360 it had touchscreen it had great display quality it had uh, 360 degree rotation and everything but the speakers were not loud enough to satisfy the tablet mode or even the laptop mode i'm i mean like i was like a uh, Gosh, thoda sa loud hota yaar, thoda sa. Even my OnePlus 9 Pro is at least twice loud as compared to the Lenovo Yoga 9i. That's something which Lenovo should have worked on. If you are planning to watch a lot of content, use a sound bar or use headphones in order to experience it to even maximum level possible. Speakers could have been slightly better. I That's one of the only thing that I missed on this laptop in my opinion. This is the first time that I'm using this processor, which is Intel i7 1185G7 processor, which comes with four cores, eight threads and a base clock of three gigahertz. This is a laptop which is based on Intel's Evo platform and Intel's Evo platform being there obviously means that you get the Thunderbolt USB type C support out of the box. I mentioned this in every single video. I love that Wi-Fi 6 support is present out of the box. Intel's Iris XC graphics are also present. Uh, the i7 1185G7 processor which is present here performs fantastic, really good. It is probably one of the best laptops that I've used processor wise in work oriented laptops. Definitely gets a thumbs up and these are some of the benchmarks that we ran with this particular laptop with its processor and even the Intel Iris XC graphics which are inbuilt into it will be able to give you a smooth gameplay I would say for eSport titles such as CSGO or Valorant. CSGO ran um, at 60 FPS and that is possible with this particular laptop which is supposed to be a work oriented laptop and not a laptop with, where, on which you will game on continuously. But the gaming is possible and can be done on the laptop which is always a plus point. The fingerprint sensor is also embedded in the body itself and there is a very small line which will notify that the fingerprint sensor is here otherwise it would have been impossible to figure out where the fingerprint sensor is. As we are talking about fingerprint sensor we have to talk about the quick wake functionality which is present in the Evo platform and all the laptops which come with Intel's Evo platform and all the laptops that I've tested till now all of them perform really good when it comes to waking up from sleep and and they are definitely one of the fastest Windows laptops that I've used when it comes to waking up from sleep and Lenovo's Yoga 9i is no exception to that. If you are a professional, as I said earlier, gaming is possible on this laptop, but this laptop is not really made for gamers as such. But if you do day to day tasks like having multiple Chrome browsers open at the same time, having a huge Excel file and then also a couple of Word files and all that stuff, then Intel's i7 1185G7 processor will be able to handle all these tasks very easily. The tactile feedback of the laptop is pretty good, I would say, uh, typing for a long session 
will be a pleasant experience on this particular laptop. But if you are someone who doesn't like to type and who likes to touch and type, then that's possible because this laptop can go to 360 degrees and this is now in tablet mode. So if you press anything on the keyboard, it's not going to affect the touch screen. Now it has become a complete touch screen laptop. This is the Windows 10 tablet mode. And uh, if you are someone who likes to touch on the laptop and wants to have touch functionality, the Lenovo Yoga 9i comes with that coupled with the processor, which is very fast. Gaming on this particular laptop with touch screen oriented games is going to be fun as well. Now, there are a few things which I want to talk about, which I, I have not seen in any other laptop. First one is going to be the presence of a pen, which is obviously there but that pen goes inside the laptop. So keeping the pen handy is very easy. I can just use it to uh, touch as you can see and I don't want it, my job is done. I'll just put it inside the laptop itself, meaning you will never lose your pen again. I have used so many laptops with touchscreen and uh, with a pen, but I end up losing the pen or I'm like, Are yaar, kidar gaya pen? Bata bhai, tune dekha kya, tune dekha kya. But that will not happen with the Lino Yoga 9i. If you are someone who is an artist who likes to draw stuff, who likes to paint stuff, if you have kids who want to paint on the laptop by using the touch screen, then obviously this is a great laptop for that particular purpose. And I guess that's pretty much it for this particular video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding the laptop or this video, then do let me know about that in the comment section box below. I'll be more than glad to answer your queries. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, then subscribe, like this video, share with your friends who are planning to buy this laptop. And I guess that's it. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.